Well, if I ever had any doubts, now I know. Tesla cars are computers on wheels. This morning, I got up and I wanted to check in a car. I usually don't do this, but it's supposed to charge overnight and it didn't. I looked up on the app, on the phone, and it said stop charging. And so I kind of recycled it on the phone and it still stopped charging. So, okay, go out to the car and uh, I noted the car was not charging. It was set to be ready at seven o'clock this morning. And I'm coming out, the doors have opened. And here we have a blank screen. Totally blank. Attempting the initial rebuild boot. Looks like nothing. Do it with the brake. Still nothing. I think I unplugged the charger, charged the charger back in. I uh, did not try to drive the car. So, um, back to the internet, you know. Uh, and uh, one guy in there said, uh, step on the brake, hold on the two scroll buttons for uh, 30 seconds. Okay, trying the hard reboot again. Both scrolls and the brake pedal. Something just happened. Not sure what. Well, I guess nothing. I did that. I did it again. Wasn't sure I'd held it for 30 seconds. So I did it again. And... Here's what I got on the main screen. It did come back up and uh, life was good again. And it started charging normally and so on. But it was kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen a lot of that except in... Uh, on the internet there's some on these older cars where the MCU failed uh, but this did come back up every every function I've tried to use so far has been fine on it but the soft reboot was not not effective and whether you need to step on the brake or not for the for the reboot I don't know and I only did the scroll buttons I didn't do the buttons on top because you there's buttons right above the on the steering column that you could press, and that's another boot. Uh, I wish Tesla was a little more forthcoming on this stuff. Uh, they do have uh, instructions for a reboot on it. Uh, it doesn't say anything about pressing the brake, and I'm not sure that really means anything that it has to be done, but... Um, it did work and of course there's always the question you know which thing that i did made a difference you know and 
should I have, you know, pulled my nose over to the sign while I was doing this, uh, you know, or whatever. Uh, anyway, it's operating again. Love to hear comments about anybody that's had the same thing happen where the soft reboot did not help. And you actually had to push those buttons down for a longer period of time. Like to hear anything anybody's got. Anyway, that's... <laughs> That's the uh, blank screen on the Tesla Model S. That's it on this one.